captions in English, please. So this is the second video of chapter five, and we will practice or first look at examples on writing formulas for type one ionic compound from the names. So we have names and we need to find the formula. So potassium sulfide, what is the formula of the name of the compound potassium sulfide? So potassium, uh, you look at the periodic table, it's symbol K. Group 1A, it's an alkali metal, so it's always making a plus one ion. Sulfide is the sulfur as an anion, and in sulfur is in group 6A. So for non-metals, you do the group number minus eight to get the charge on the ion. And so here it's six minus eight is gonna be negative two. So we have K plus and S negative two. You always write the positive ion first and then the negative ion. And then you can do the crisscross trick. And that shows how the two from the charge on the sulfide will become a subscript for potassium. And the one from the charge of potassium will become a subscript for sulfur. But the one is implied, we don't write it. So then the formula is K2S. And you can see that you need two potassium ions to get two positive charges in total to cancel the two negative charges from the sulfide ion. Um, strontium iodide. Strontium um, is a symbol SR. It's uh, group 2A, an alkaline earth metal. So always making a two plus ion. Iodide is the um, I an ion from the iodine in group 7A. So seven minus eight, it's gonna be uh, I negative one. Uh, uh, iodide is an halogen. So like all halogens from group 7A, they are a negative one ions. So then you can do the crisscross trick and you see that the two from the strontium uh, charge will become a subscript for iodine and then the one from the iodine charge will become a subscript for strontium. So SRI2 is the uh, formula for strontium iodide. Notice how you need indeed two iodide ions to get two negative charges to cancel the two positive charges from the one strontium. Magnesium phosphide. Magnesium is symbol Mg. It's in group 2A. It's an alkaline earth metal. So it's always making a two plus ion. Phosphide from phosphorus, group 5A. So it's a non-metal. So you do five minus eight to get the charge. And that's gonna be a three minus charge on the phosphide. Next, you do the crisscross trick and you can see that the a three from the three negative charges on the phosphide will become a subscript for magnesium and the two from the two positive charges of magnesium will become a subscript for for um, phosphorus. So it's Mg3P2. And um, we see here that we cannot simplify the ratio of two and three. Um, uh, the ratio cannot be simplified because you need three magnesium with two positive charges each, and that's gonna be three times two, six positive charges in total. And you need two phosphorus times three negative charges each, that's six negative charges in total. So they cancel out and your Mg3P2 formula is neutral. Next, let's look at barium oxide. Barium is uh, BA from group 2A, an alkaline earth metal. So group 2A means it's always making a two plus ion. Oxide is from oxygen in group 6A. Uh, the oxide ion has two negative charges because you do six minus eight and it's negative two. So it's BA two plus and O negative two. And you can see that uh, if you do the crisscross trick, you would get BA2O2, but it's actually uh, BAO, the uh, formula for barium oxide, because the 
two positive charges will cancel the two negative charges and so one of each ion will make a neutral formula so you don't need more than one of each barium and oxygen so always try to simplify the formula to get the smallest uh, ratio of uh, whole numbers for the subscript so it's not BA2O2 but BAO so let's practice now and I want you to pause the video for you to practice and uh, be actively learning. So write the formula for the following names. Sodium oxide. Sodium is symbol Na from group 1A, an alkali metal, or as making an Na plus ion. Oxide is from oxygen in group 6a a non-metal so you do the group number minus 8 so 6 minus 8 and it's negative 2 so the charge on oxygen is negative 2. Next you do the crisscross trick and you can see that uh, you will get Na2O from the fact that the 2 from the oxide ion charge will become a subscript for sodium and the one from the charge of sodium will become a subscript for oxygen but the one is implied and not written down so the formula is Na2O and you can see that indeed you need two uh, sodium ions to get two positive charges in total to cancel the two negative charges on the oxide so that the formula is neutral overall barium fluoride Barium is in group 2A, it's an alkaline earth metal, so always making a 2 plus ion. Fluoride comes from fluorine, it's in group 7A, it's an halogen, and you do 7 minus 8 to get the charge of negative 1 on fluorine, and uh, as an ion it's the fluoride ion with one negative charge. Next you do the crisscross trick, and you can see that the one from the one charge uh, on fluorine becomes a subscript for barium and the two from the barium two plus becomes a subscript for fluorine and so it becomes BAF2 because the one is implied and not written so it's just BA and then F2. So here it says that you need two fluorine per uh, barium to obtain a neutral formula and indeed you need two fluorine so times one negative charge each that's going to be two negative charges in total and they will cancel out those two positive charges on the barium cadmium nitride cadmium is a transition metal so a metal that is in the b groups which are uh, most of them variable charge metals but uh, cadmium is an exception along with silver and zinc and cadmium is always a 2 plus ion. So cadmium 2 plus. Nitride comes from nitrogen, group 5A. Uh, you do the group number minus 8. So 5 minus 8 is negative 3. That's the charge on the nitride. So we have CD2 plus and N negative 3. You do the crisscross trick and the three from the three negative charges of nitride becomes a subscript for cadmium and the two from the two positive charges of cadmium becomes a subscript for nitrogen and so the formula is CD3N2 and we can see that we to get a formula like that that is neutral we need indeed three cadmium times two positive charges each that's going to be three times two six positive charges in total and they will be cancelled by uh, the two nitride ions they carry each three negative charges so two times three six negative charges in total so CD3N2 is a neutral formula for cadmium nitride lithium fluoride Lithium is Li, group 1A, an alkali metal, always makes a Li plus ion. Fluoride is uh, from fluorine, an halogen from group 7A. So you do 7 minus 8 to get the charge and it's negative 1 on the fluoride. One positive charge, one negative charge, and you can see that the formula is LiF. You can also do the crisscross trick and you see that you obtain the same formula.